Hi, I'm Exo, and I'm on a journey to becoming a DIY guru. We all hate potholes. Why? <laughs> because we do. They cause damage to our tires and cars, and they have a habit of hiding in the rain. And before you know it, you've hit it. But having a pothole in your driveway, well, that's another story. They're an eyesore. And every time you walk out, you see the damage getting larger and larger. And you start to think that one day the tire in your driveway is going to end up on the road. So today, we're going to show you how to fix the pothole the proper way. For this, you'll need a bag of cold tar mix and a stamper, both of which I got from my local builders. You'll also need a few other basics such as a broom, possibly a chisel and hammer. You'll see why shortly. And I also recommend a pair of thick rubber gloves and gum boots. Now, cold tar mix differs from hot tar in that it sets through evaporation. And cold tar is ideal for repairs, fixing up edges and the likes. However, it's not a permanent solution on a busy road. Cold tar does not need to be kept hot to remain workable. But with that being said, the warmer the tar is, the easier it is to work with and the tighter we can get it to bind. You see that bag of cold tar mix there wrapped in black plastic? He's been lying in the baking sun all day just to try and get it as warm as possible. And today's heat also means the pothole is completely dry. First step here is to clear out all old damaged tar. I'm gonna make sure there are no loose parts and give it a good sweep. The rest is easy. Simply pour the mix into the hole, spread it into place and give it a good stamping. Making sure to keep the head of the stamper wet at all times. Now this bag will cover one square meter at 18 millimeters thickness. So filling it up layer by layer, we can get the same road level. If your pothole is deeper than 30 millimeters, rather fill the base with some stone chip and use the tar to seal it. Now, as you can see, I'm not compacting it completely as I want the stone chips to bind together. The last layer will stamp properly and get it smooth. If you notice your final level is not correct and you need to add more, simply roughen it up a little and keep adding. The firmer we can compact this, the better, and we can open this area to traffic right away. Cleaning up is a simple sweep and we're done. Now, petrol and diesel are killers for tar as they dissolve and degrade the bitumen that binds the asphalt. So if you do spill petrol or diesel onto your tar, wash it off immediately. All done. Now, all that remains is to keep an eye on the rest of the driveway and tackle those areas before we get another crater like this. Now, remember, this is just one of the home maintenance options available at Builders, in-store, or online at builders.co.za. And for more videos like this, check out the blog on the website. Get to Builders, get it done.